So DJI just announced the spiritual successor of the original Osmo Action alongside GoPro Hero 11. And when it comes to action cameras, both these brands have delivered the greatest you can find to date. Meanwhile, DJI being a bit cheeky, launched its latest camera one hour before the Hero 11 Black attempting to upstage GoPro. But does it really outperform the GoPro in terms of camera quality and functionalities? To find out, we decided to compare these two best action cameras in a head-to-head -head battle and see which one deserves to be called the king of the action camera realm. Looking at both cameras, you'd find a similar form factor as DJI decided to travel back in time and follow the trail of Osmo Action's design. That's because the huge redesign of Action 2 wasn't really much appreciated by its fans. While GoPro being GoPro kept its iconic design alive, both cameras offer dual touchscreen for previewing what's being captured but with some accessories you can definitely make the Osmo Action 3 stand out more than Hero 11 as it comes with a quick release magnetic clamping design letting you snap the camera onto most platforms within the blink of an eye. Well obviously you can also attach the Hero 11 but not as conveniently as the Action 3. But you would not want an action camera just for easy mounting access, camera performance is what you need. DJI sticks to its previous 1x1.7 inch sensor that can shoot 4K videos at 120 frames per second, whereas the Hero 11 can now shoot 5.3K resolution videos at 60 frames per second. Besides, its taller sensor can capture a wider field of view both vertically and horizontally. But if you prefer wider shots, DJI clinches the point having a 155 degree super wide view. However, in terms of video quality, Hero 11 now support both 8-bit and 10-bit color log, which means you'd get more freedom while color grading your captured videos. That's a nice touch from GoPro. Besides, while shooting vertically, GoPro seems to perform better than Action 3 with its optimized GP2 processor, delivering crispier and more vibrant images. Plus, Hero 11 lets you capture 27 megapixel still images compared to the 12 megapixel from Action 3. So overall, we would say GoPro still remains on top for its camera performance. As for stability, both DJI and GoPro have upgraded their EIS to Rocksteady 3.0 and Hypersmooth 5.0 respectively. So whether you tend to capture your bike riding shots on the most extreme trails or skiing on the mountain ice, both cameras will ensure super stabilized videos. But when you think of diving deep into the ocean, these two cameras got you back as well as both can survive up to 16 meters underwater. But DJI has come up with a more robust design this time as its camera is claimed to be cold resistant for up to minus 20 degrees Celsius, which seems to be the perfect camera for carrying to Mount Everest. Coming to battery life, with the DJI Action 3, you can shoot for up to 160 minutes with proper conditions and up to 90 minutes while shooting at 4K. On the contrary, the Hero 11 comes with an upgraded Enduro battery with a 1720mAh capacity which offers almost similar shooting time. So, it seems GoPro's main upgrade this time is the 11 Mini which comes with almost similar specs but in a more compact and lighter form. Whereas, DJI realizes drawbacks and try to overcome them in the best ways possible. Both cameras have the capability to capture excellent videos no matter how extreme the conditions get. So, if you want to get higher resolution, you should go for GoPro. But if you want your camera to be more versatile than ever, the Osmo Action 3 is what you need. Anyway, what are your thoughts on these latest offerings from the action camera giants? Let us know in the comment section below. Like, comment and share with your friends if you want more content like this on your feed.